the Energy Water Nexus Breakfast Forum on the sidelines of the ongoing African Water Association Congress in Kampala tackled fundamental issues pertaining to the linkage between water resources and sustainable hydropower generation. The issue at Marshall Falls has been identified. Government is saying, okay, we would like to see if there is a possibility to generate power at that point. Fair enough. So let the people who are responsible do their work and then time will come when this work will be presented to people like Amos and I and you for us to say okay it is not a good option it's a good option because of A, B, C, D and D. Top on the agenda of the discussions was the increasing demand of water and energy to foster industrial growth vis-a-vis -vis the threat to the environment and ecosystem. Government is urged to create a balance between economic activities and energy development in order to foster sustainable growth and protect Uganda's natural resources and heritage. Marshall Falls is the most powerful waterfalls on earth. It is where the whole of the Nile struggles to pass through six meters, falling 42 meters deep. There's nowhere in the world that you find water gush, gushing through a canyon like Marshall Falls. Now, if I'm from Timbukutu, I've come to Uganda, my interest is to set up a dam to destroy that. If I've destroyed it, there's not money. I always tell people, there's no, no person would go to Canada, I mean that Niagara Falls, and say, I want to destroy the Niagara Falls. This hearty appeal from a leading tourism stakeholder, Amos Wekesa, prompted an immediate reaction from the Minister of Energy and Mineral Development. The way we are doing business of leasing out dams needs to change and go back to the law. Now when I have my money and I come, you allow me to do the feasibility study. I'm interested to take on my son force. Then I do the design, I award myself the contract, because that's what has been going on. So where are the benchmarks? So please be sure that we are going to make and we go back to the law. What does the law say? The energy and water relationship is becoming clearer by the day, and thus the need for an integrated approach in the utilization of water resources. Dennis Igor for UBC News.